Hey guys and welcome to a new video. In this video here we're going to talk about what the best programming language is for AI in, in 2021. And we're going to talk about some of the languages and which is the most popular one and we're going to talk about some of the advantages and disadvantages for uh, some of the programming languages and then we're going to talk about what is the best programming language for your application or like your, your field of interest. So first of all here like let's see like uh, what is the best programming language for like the population and the Google uh, search on Google Trends. So these are all like the, um, these are all the graphs from Google Trends. So the first graph here shows like uh, 15 years uh, back, so the population, and we can see like the yellow graph here um, is uh, Java, and the red one here is C++, and then the blue one here is Python. So we can see that the that the popularity of Python is increasing like lately in within the last uh, three to four years. So Python is increasing very fast and it's growing really really fast because it's just such a such a very powerful and, and, and simple language and, and there's a lot of different kind of modules uh, that you can use that we're going to talk about. And we can see that Java and C++ is, is going a bit down compared to uh, what it was before. And if we look a bit closer here, um, like if we take the last five years uh, back in time, we can see that C++ is, is pretty steady here regarding like the, the popularity of the programming language. Uh, and we see that Java is, 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 is slowly decreasing uh, in popularity where Python is just, is just growing for each year that, that is growing because it's just getting developed so, uh, so much and a lot of people uh, really like using Python because of the simplicity, simplicity and the applicability of Python and uh, like all of the different kind of stuff it can do. So in this video here we're going to talk about like what the best programming language is and what, what is some of, the, uh, some of the advantages for some of the different kind of um, for some of the different kind of programming language uh, for AI because you can pretty much do like everything uh, in, 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 in the, the programming language you, you want but some of the programming languages has some advantages uh, where you might use that programming language over another for some different kind of purposes and applications. So let's start with talking about Python here. So Python is the most uh, popular uh, programming language right now regarding artificial intelligence and also just uh, in general. And it is widely used by um, researchers within AI and machine learning scientists. So machine learning scientists that is doing some uh, deep learning and neural networks and also just machine general machine learning algorithms um, and stuff like that. Then Python is really good for that and for good for uh, development, research and prototyping. And Python is very, very simple and, and flexible. So it's, it's easy to learn as we can see down here on the curve, like here's some of the advantages of using Python. Uh, in general and, and specifically for artificial intelligence. So we have a, it, the ease of learning is, is, is really like, it's really good, like it, it's easy to learn Python and write because it's, it's really close to the Eng English language. And we don't have to write that much of a code and the syntax is really easy and simple as well for Python compared to some of the other programming languages like C++. And then we have these, a lot of different kind of pre-built libraries um, that we can just use in Python. So we have these modules that we just can import. And there's a lot of pre-built libraries out there for specifically uh, artificial intelligence, both for um, for a data, 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 data scientists or doing some data analysis or if we're doing deep learning with neural networks um, and other machine learning uh, algorithms. Then there's pre-built without libraries for all of those and you can just import those and use them. And a lot of them are even like open source. Um, and it's also like platform dependent Python, so it's really like it's very portable as well. And the, the community support is just massive. Like you can just get information about Python and support uh, in the community. Like uh, there's a lot of support out there. And if you have some different kind of errors or if there's something you can't figure out, then you can just look it up on Google or Stack Overflow or something like that. And because the ma the support is just massive and the programming language is just getting bigger and bigger, bigger because it's just so fast growing because of it its advantages within general programming, but also in, in, in AI specific. So we also have C++, which is the, the second most popular programming language regarding uh, artificial intelligence, where C++ is often more used in games uh, for AI. So if you have some different kind of games where we're implementing some AI or, or doing some different kind of stuff, then C++ is often used when we're talking about games and AI. And C++ is also used a lot in robotics. For example, if we have some different kind of uh, reinforcement learning uh, robots that need to learn that task by, by interacting with an environment. So in this example I have here where two robots are playing chess against each other where we have this game here where we can use some AI and then we have these two robots here that is trying to learn uh, to play chess by just using reinforcement learning uh, and stuff like that. So C++ is often used for robotics and games uh, where AI is used for that. 
but we can also use it for like uh, some other different kind of things if we want speed and efficiency for our neural networks like, like a lot of the different kind of libraries uh, from uh, actual like python is implemented in c++ so you can use you can use those libraries and modules in c++ as well and then just uh, use those for simplicity but or like not for simplicity but for efficiency where you use python if you're just doing some some quick prototyping and and you just want to like have it really easy and really simple and portable and a really good catch up to C++ is Java and Java and C++ is really close to each other uh, because you can do a lot of the, a lot of the same stuff uh, with, with those two languages but if, 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 you, if you have to go more specific into like what Java could be used for then it could be used for like artificial intelligence in networking and if we're doing some kind of like fraud or cyber attack detection then Java is really good for that, and if you're doing some visualization um, as well with your with your AI in networking uh, and stuff like that, then Java is better to use than than C++ for example. But you can use uh, all the languages, but some of them has these advantages just over the others. And then if you know all the languages um, or you have a specific field you want to learn a language for, uh, then you can go in and check like the advantages that I'm going over in this video here, and then you can see like what what can fit my application or my field of interest best so also when we're talking about python uh, we also need to mention a programming language called r r programming language so these two these two programming languages here is often used together by um, by data scientists so if, if you're doing some data scientist and data analysis you often use uh, python and r programming uh, together and if you're doing some different kind of like statistic uh, statistic, statistics modeling or like some plotting some data or you're just operating with really large data sets then our programming uh, the, the R programming language is really good and very efficient for doing uh, those exact uh, things within statistics where it is not really good for general purpose uh, task as Python is and some of the other different kind of uh, programming language that we already had mentioned so Often Python and R programming language is used together because then we use Python for for doing like the more general stuff, and then when we have a specific task within uh, st statistics for the data scientists, then they're using uh, R programming language to do some plots and some statistical models and stuff like that. So it's really useful to use uh, some of the languages together and not just use one language, but you be flexible and flip fit the language to the kind of like application uh, that you want. So last slide here, we're going to talk about when to use, use which language. And as we also talk, already talked about, like Python is the most used language for AI and it's the fastest growing language, both for AI, but also uh, for general purpose programming. And if you're talking about research or production, like which language you should use um, and speed and efficiency is, is important, then you should actually like go and use C++ instead of Python um, if you're doing some production and speed and efficiency is important because like some of the some of the actual like modules that is that is like used in Python is actually like coded and implemented in C++ so and all the modules like some of the modules is also like supported with C++ so if you need some production and a bit more com uh, complex and and efficient models and stuff like that then you should definitely use uh, C++ or Python or um, or some of the other programming languages but if you're just doing some prototyping or some research and you just want to like make a fast prototype and see like how it performs and, and play around with it and do some plotting of data and data analysis as well then python is really um really efficient and really really important to use um, if you're doing those kind of application but again it's all it all depends on your applications or like the field you're in or the field that you're interested in learning something in um because it's just possible to use uh, almost all the languages for the same things, but the languages have their advantages and disadvantages uh, as we've been over in this video here. So you can actually like use, you can actually like do both um, machine learning algorithms and deep learning neural networks in all of these programming languages here. And many of the packages and modules um, is actually like supported in all of the languages. So I'm currently doing a um, deep learning tutorial where we're using a framework uh, called Keras and Keras is actually like supported in all of those languages here that we've been over like uh, C++ and Python and Java and also some JavaScript and some other different kind of programming languages where uh, where you can do deep learning and neural networks so it really depends on uh, what you're most comfortable with and and you can try to yeah, like use it for your application so you it's not because you can't use uh, Python for production or you can't use C++ for uh, for research because you can use 
all of them uh, for the same things, but they have some advantages and disadvantages over each other. And it's really up to you to like find out uh, what is the best one. So I think that the best program language um, of, of these who I've mentioned here is definitely Python because it is just the most used language for AI. The support is really good and it's really fast growing and there's like kind of no boundaries for uh, what you can do in Python if you're just doing some, um, some different kind of prototyping or research. Uh, then Python is really, really uh, efficient and you can even like first do it in Python and then if you need the speed and efficiency, then you can do it in C++. But I, uh, I think that the best programming language for AI in, in 2021 is, is definitely Python and then C++ and Java is a good follow-up programming language. So it really it, it's really up to you and it depends on uh, what you feel most comfortable with and what you're work with the most and also like the kind of applications uh, you're currently doing. So thank you guys for watching this video and remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification under the video. And also like this video here if you like the content and you want more of it in the future. I'm currently also doing a, a deep learning tutorial where we're going over some neural networks. We're talking about like how neural networks work and we're also going to create some of the neural networks, train them and do predictions uh, with the trained neural networks. And I'm also doing a computer vision tutorial in C++ um, with OpenCV. So if you're interested in one of those tutorials, I'll link to one of them up here. Or else I'll just see you in the next video, guys. Bye for now.